How do you restore an ACES EEE back to factory settings? First you open it. <laughs> Connect it to the um, power source. Turn it on. Press F2 to get into the bias. Got in. Now move your directional keys to where it says put. And it says put settings right in there. Press enter and disable. Put booster. You're disabling that stuff. For now though. Uh, put device priority. If you have a CD-ROM plugged in, unplug it, and it tells you what it's going to be going into. Here you will also, if you want to just put to you a stick, this is what you would do. Okay. So now you're all set. Press the Escape key once. Go to the Exit menu and say Exit and Save Changes. Press Enter. It's going to say OK. Now press 9. F9, F9, once you get that screen, stop pressing it, and it's going to load up, saying easy to learn, easy to work, easy to play. You will lose, you will lose all data during system re recovery. Ensure to back up your important data before recovering your system. Okay, I will lose all my data. Fine, I don't have anything in there. The first check mark says yes, and it starts the Norton uh, Ghost feature that restores from a from a backup. Uh, image copy stored in your hard drive restores your PC back to factory settings. Now this ghost backup came with this computer so your computer if you have an Asus EEE just like this one it, it has that. Now the other backup the other uh, backup that we can do is in this one it's for the newer ACES. Let me press F9 as soon as this thing goes on. <laughs> okay. This is for a newer ACES. This has Windows 7. I'm not going to do a backup, but I'm just going to show you. And then Windows Setup, EM, whatever, enable. You press Enter. And it starts loading the files. This is a newer computer, but still the same. F9 trick. However, if you, this looks like it's going to boot to, to Windows, but it's not. However, if um, if you have that um, fast boot enable on your the thing that would disable first and in the BIOS, if you think if you have the stop enable, it won't go into here. It will go right away into the hard drive into the, into the operating system. So here you select your language, English. And it tells you recovery backup, recovery backup, exit, and go back. The little thing that goes back. See, it's feeling a little different. If you do a recovery, you recover, meaning you erase everything. If you do backup, you can have an external hard drive used as your external backup. However, test it before you throw away your old hard drive or do or install something new in there now this thing is booting up to uh, Windows XP right now it finished up the um, the the recovery partitioning or recovery images or whatever it, it, they call it um, so finish up copying all the files basically and it's starting and while well, that starts, I'm going to click on exit in here because this computer is all set. And it says, please wait while Windows prepares to, to start. 
Now this usually happens when a, co a company like Asus um, wants to install drivers and things. And then it goes into Windows XP and that will be you know, a happy, happy thing for you, especially if you have viruses and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to click on Next. Welcome to Windows. Click on Next. Select your language, your keyboard, and the keyboard layout. Um, is this a language? Is this a language? I'm sorry. Your country, language, and your keyboard. This keyboard is United States. You can tell just by looking at it. In the Spanish keyboard, for example, we have an N with a little thing on top, right over there. So this is where you select what to appear on the characters when you press those keys. So you click next. Your time, I'm now near New York City, so there's an Eastern time. It's fine. Uh, Microsoft XC Home Edition Service Pack 3 insurance license, yes. And whatever, yes. And then, help to check my by turning automatic updates. No, because sometimes it, it makes your computer go off on its own, <laughs> and that sucks. And uh, you continue with all the prompts, and you will be all set. And if you need a recovery image for your computer or a hard drive already with everything in there let me know uh, your model of your computer and I will uh, do my best to assist you and for I'll send you a disk or a hard drive or you can send me your hard drive and I'll do the job and send it back to you or you can send me the computer as well and I will do it I'm a um, computer tech that's what I do, and that's my matrix chair. Because <laughs> that's a matrix chair, it goes forward and backwards and then moves electrically. It's a car, it's a car chair. So you let me know, let me know, I'll help you. Ta thank you and take care. Bye.